What's up, you guys? Brandon here, and I am back with another action figure review. Super stoked. In front of us, we're taking a look at the brand new Disney Pixar Lightyear action figures. I've been on Secret Adventures and Uncharted Space. Just kidding. I went to Walmart, and I am ready to dive into these figures. Super excited. Today, we're taking a look at Crystal Grade Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear, Mission Equipped Buzz Lightyear, and Battle Equipped Zyklops. I found these guys at Walmart. These standard figures are about maybe four, four and a half, five inches tall. And uh, they were about 10 bucks. Very cool. And uh, there's our first shot at the promo art. Very excited. On the back side, here we see what Buzz looks like with his gear. It says crystal grade. And there are two others in the assortment, yellow and red. And here's that wonderful UPC if you need it. All right, I'm taking a look at the next ones. This is Mission Equipped Buzz Lightyear, and he looks awesome with a rocket launcher and a jetpack uh, and his helmet. Very exciting stuff. And um, yeah, very nice. To me, this is going to be like kind of like the equivalent of Spider Man No Way Home, uh, Far From Home, Homecoming. You know how they have standard basic figures, and then they got, you know, the ones that have a gimmick or do something. That's kind of what this guy is. He was 17 bucks. I thought he would have been a little bit cheaper than that. And there's his gimmick. And we have the Zyklops, good old Zergbot. Got a nice update and he looks fantastic. Very, very nice. I really dig this guy a lot. He's got some projectiles, fires some missiles. Looks like he's also got a disc that comes off of his chest as well. Very cool, very interesting. And for his UPC, if you need it, there it is. All right, you guys, we're going to get these guys out of the packaging and take a closer look to infinity and beyond. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we got our figures out of the packaging and they look fantastic. Very, very excited for this movie and what we can learn from these toys. Taking a look first at our crystal grade Buzz Lightyear. He is a phenomenal looking figure. I really do like that sculpt. And yes, that is a shiny metallic green paint. And it looks phenomenal. Here's a look at Buzz from top to bottom. And he looks fantastic. Taking a look at the side, there's nothing here that says laser. Um, I think that's actually on the other Buzz that I have, the mission equipped Buzz. But we do have the Space Ranger logo. There's no uh, Lightyear name tag logo on his chest. Um, I guess they skipped that for the small toys. But it is definitely in this movie, and we can see it in the packaging on the box art. There's no green on the tips of the feet. There's no purple at the bottom of the feet. And on the back side, here we go. There's also no gray here on the elbows or the knees. But, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see in the movie if it's supposed to be like that. Or not, who knows, but man, this is an awesome, awesome looking figure. Very excited. Taking a look at Buzz's articulation, this is gonna be really interesting because this is a basic $10 figure and I think he has quite a lot of articulation. So we'll start at the head, moving in his head is tight, but he can move side to side, pretty good. His arms come out, forward and back, full 360. There's a bend and a twist at the elbow. His wrists go full 360. There's no hinge or anything, so the wrist can't go up and down, just a rotation. He does have waist articulation, which is nice for a basic figure. His legs come out, forward, they go back just a little bit, and there's a bend and a twist at the knee. That's a lot of articulation for a standard figure. That's pretty close to what we get with a lot of the new Batman and DC figures from Spin Master, so, Pretty good, I gotta say. Buzz also comes with a lot of accessories. He comes with this card. It says Crystal Structure. Really interesting card. There's even some holes in it. You can see my finger right there behind it. I don't know what the purpose of that is. There's no instructions or anything. And then it says XL15 down here. And on the back side, we see what looks like Buzz's ship. That is really cool and a really nice touch. These are gonna be very collectible cards. Um, I think kids are gonna really enjoy this and collectors as well. And so the crystal that is represented here on this card is called the Ivan Fuel Crystal. At least that's what it says on the box. 
Here is the crystal, which reminds me of Buzz's phrase in the movie. Have you people discovered crystallic fusion or do you still use fossil fuels? And there's a nice crystal in there and it is definitely shiny, sparkly, and it looks really good. And so Buzz can hold that crystal in his hand. There's no problem with that. So this must be a fuel cell or power source of some kind. And Buzz can hold that just fine. He also comes with a helmet, a really nice plastic helmet that is nice and shiny, see-through. And it just clips right on. And that looks really good. Really solid. And he even comes with a handgun. A very nice piece. They didn't have to include this, but they did. It even clips on to the side of Buzz's belt. Here's a hole, and it looks like this just fits right in there. Yep, ports right in. So that looks really good, you guys. So now you don't have to worry about Buzz losing his accessories. His hand also has the trigger finger, so, you know, he can hold this gun. And hopefully it's with no problem and with ease. Uh, it's a little difficult, but if you place it just right with his finger there, it works out really, really well. So there you go, guys. That is our crystal grade Space Ranger Alpha Buzz Lightyear, an awesome figure. So just when you thought Buzz couldn't get any cooler, he can. In front of us, we're now taking a look at Mission Equipped Buzz Lightyear. And this guy is awesome, a very, very cool figure. You're gonna notice a couple different things with this guy. Um, the first being that the green on him is not sparkly, it is a matte finish. So very interesting there. He also has what's different about his arm here compared to the standard figure is the laser. So it looks like our standard Buzz Lightyear does not have a laser of any kind, but our new mission equipped Buzz does. Looks like he's got a button for a laser and he's got that gold gauntlet that allows his laser to fire, which is really cool. The only thing that I wish he would have come with is maybe like a red beam or something that we can attach on there to make it look like he is firing his laser. But you know, I'm gonna take what I got and be really happy and excited about it because there's so much here to dive into. Taking a full look at Buzz Lightyear underneath, there we go, there's peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And taking a look at his backside, this is really cool, you guys. And he comes with a jetpack and a rocket launcher. So I think that, you know, seals the deal for me as far as wanting that laser. Maybe we'll get it with another buzz. Who knows? But this guy, like I said, he looks really, really good. And the face sculpt on this buzz looks like it hits home a lot closer for that movie compared to that standard buzz. I'll show you what I mean. Their head sculpts are actually different. Let me focus in here. So you can see what I mean. He's got smaller pupils. He's got bigger pupils. He's got a larger chin and he has a shorter one. So very, very interesting comparison between these two. And I don't know what else is the same and what's different. Definitely the sculpt work on the arms. I mean, one could even say that they're almost the exact same sculpt altogether. It is hard to say though. Maybe the arms are the same, the left arm. But you know, who knows? Honestly, it could be anybody's guess, but they look really good. Now, identifying this as a $17 buzz, that's the kicker. So we got this action feature down here, which I don't think hinders his articulation too much. And we got on the back side this port right here, and that is for Buzz's jetpack. We're going to dive into those accessories in a moment. Right now for his articulation, he's got movement in his head side to side. Pretty good. This arm comes out, forward and back, full 360. There's a bend and a twist at the elbow. He has full wrist articulation for his other arm with the gimmick. Let's see, can it move on its own? It can, it can move on its own. That's impressive. And this arm moves, wow, all right. So no hindrance with the articulation. He does of course have waist articulation. This leg, wow, interesting. So this leg, even though it squeezes, this leg still has movement. Does the other? Yeah, wow. All right, my hat is off to Mattel. They have really figured out how to do this without limiting the articulation on these figures anymore. He's got movement in his knee. Uh, yep, yeah, wow. Dang. All right, pretty cool. Standard figure. He's got a lot of articulation. Very nice range of motion. Pretty sweet.
So taking a look next at Buzz's accessories, we'll start with this awesome looking jetpack. This is really cool and a really nice treat. I did not expect to get this or see this with this figure, so awesome. Even cooler, it's not just a hunk of plastic. The wings actually retract manually, of course, but that is such an exciting touch. They didn't have to do that, but they did. Mattel is definitely going the extra mile with these figures, and it shows. So here we got the jetpack attached to Buzz Lightyear, and it looks really good. Very nice so side profile. There it is from the back, and it just looks really sharp. And the wingspan looks pretty good. Of course, you know it's a toy. What are you going to expect? I would have loved the wings to have been a little bit longer, but, you know, it still looks really, really good. I'm hoping we'll get, like, a signature series or something down the line. That would be really cool for Mattel. Like, a nice $20, $25 buzz for all the collectors out there of buzz in this iteration. He's got that standard helmet, and it looks really good, really sharp. Um, I can't commend them enough for how well these helmets came out. And Buzz comes with a rocket launcher. And you guys, this really takes me back to those days of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, where Buzz had all kinds of guns and gadgets and bazookas and you name it, all part of Star Command's uh, arsenal. And this is absolutely awesome. So here we have it, and it looks pretty cool i really really do like this a lot so you get buzz you get the jetpack you get the bazooka or the rocket launcher you get the wings you get the helmet and you get this gimmick of him being able to do this for his laser or punch i think it looks pretty cool an awesome piece and one that i'm very excited and happy to have mission equipped buzz lightyear just for funsies, we're going to see if Buzz can hit the Zyclops with his rocket launcher. So we're going to aim and fire. All right, it was a direct hit, but it looks like it wasn't enough to stop the Zyclops. He didn't even get knocked over. Not a little bit. Pretty crazy, but still a very fun toy. So I was just checking out this rocket launcher, and there's this peg right here, and I didn't know what it was for. I thought maybe it was like for Buzz to hold in his hand like this or something, but it turns out this peg hole is the same size as the jetpack. You can attach this to Buzz's back. Really, really cool. Mattel really went the extra mile. I am beyond excited for these toys. <laughs> no pun intended, but this is really cool and a very nice very nice touch. All right, you guys. Next, taking a look at these Zyclops. This guy is huge. He's a little over eight inches to be exact. Maybe just a hair over eight inches. Almost eight and a quarter. And that is a significant difference compared to Buzz Lightyear, who is standing at about four and a half inches tall. So these guys are apparently in scale, which means these robots are going to be huge in this movie. That is really, really exciting stuff. So taking a closer look, this guy is awesome. He's actually a really, really light plastic, nothing metallic, but you can see like how light he is in my hand. So definitely not a thick plastic by any means, but we can see the one red eye beam in there and it looks pretty good this is the button that i assume we're going to be pressing to release his missiles and he does come with a disc we'll take a look at those accessories in a moment but here's just a full top to bottom for the zyclops very interesting i no longer say zergbot i say zyclops really Really interesting. In Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, they called them hornets. And they made them look like yellow bees or bumblebees. So very interesting that uh, they went back to the original design and uh, not the design from the cartoon at all. So very interesting stuff. Here's, I guess, what it looks like when they're closed and what it looks like when their fingers are open. So very very interesting piece and uh, all in all just really nice to have you can't have heroes without villains and this is great probably going to be a wonderful wonderful army builder if you can get your hands on them looking at the articulation on our battle equipped zyclops is there movement in his head yes 
That's awesome. I thought this was really just a hunk of plastic. That is great. So it's tight to move, difficult, but it does, does move. Awesome, so you can have them look left and right. Very cool. So we do have movement in the head. His arms come out that far forward, uh, hindered at the shoulder, back, but it's pretty good. Um, there's nothing here. And then at the, yep, yeah, very nice at the elbow, but it doesn't go side to side, just forward and back down. And that's about it. His uh, waist, let's see. Oh, no way. I didn't expect that. He's got waist articulation, pretty cool. His leg comes out, forward, and it goes back. Pretty nice, and there's a bend at the knee, and that's it, just a bend. Anything for the feet? Feels like they move, they do, what's this madness? All right, they move, but not a lot. Very, very much hindered here and here. I think it's just a sculpting thing, and they had to get the foot in there somehow. So the foot has very, very minimal ankle rotation, but it's there. A very nice piece, very excited for this guy and to see these guys in the movie. For the accessories, we get these. They're just solid red projectiles and we get two of them. And those go into the hand of the Zyklops, just like this. Oh, looks like it's the other way. Okay, so interesting. So there's a button here, but there's also a button here. Okay, and then we get this disc. This is gonna be really interesting. Just a solid gray disc, and it goes like this, with this peg right onto here. So this is, I'm very curious what this does, if this disc just pops off or what. But the missile, the missile definitely shoots. Yep. And then the disc, what does the disc do? Just falls off. <laughs> okay, great. Maybe it's like a drone or something, and in the movie it'll do something? I don't know. Very interesting, but it looks like it just, uh, it just falls off. It was very anticlimactic, <laughs> but yeah, very, very interesting piece and uh, very happy to have this guy. All right, you guys, I got two missiles and I got two Buzz Lightyears. Let's see if we can knock these guys down, huh? All right. All right, I hit one Buzz, but he didn't move. He just wiggled a little bit. Let's see. Can I get the other guy? Come on. For Zerg. No. Oh, well. Looks like this Zyklops failed. And Zerg is not going to be happy. All right. So for an action figure comparison, here's our brand new Lightyear movie figures with some of the previous offerings uh, from Mattel and from McFarlane. And I got to say, these new figures fit in very nicely. They look really cool. They're going to be excellent additions to your shelf. Um, I can't wait to get some of the bigger figures from the Lightyear movie. I know we're definitely going to have some figures in the same scale uh, as the Karate Chop Lightyear. So that's going to be awesome. So I can't wait to have figures that are taller. But of course, these ones look really, really nice. You can see how well they scale with the McFarlane Buzz, with the standard Mattel Buzz, and with the new taller offerings from Mattel. These guys fit in very very nicely, very excited and happy to add these to the collection. For another size comparison, here's what our new Lightyear figures look like with the standard size Buzz Lightyear and Zerg. I gotta say they also fit in very nice. Like I'm telling you guys, these are gonna be great to add to your shelf, to your collection. We can see how the Zerg box stands next to our standard Zerg. I got some other Zergs in the collection that I gotta dig out later. There's going to be a lot more Lightyear merch to come, so we will definitely get some in-depth size comparisons, I promise. But like I said, these guys look fantastic together and a very, very nice addition to the collection. All right, and one more size comparison so you guys can get a better idea of the scale on these Lightyear figures compared with other figures and other lines. So here we have it. I think it's very noticeable that with the previous offerings from Mattel for superheroes, Shazam, Aquaman, Justice League, they were all, even Batman vs. Superman, they were all in that scale that Shazam is. So Buzz Lightyear is just a little bit shorter. So it's very interesting that they chose this scale and size. Of course, Spin Master offers much smaller figures like with the Batman and their DC offerings now. 
and we can see how Buzz Lightyear looks next to a true six inch scale figure. And that's Moon Knight. Moon Knight's in that true six inch scale. And then McFarlane is in that seven inch scale. That's our red hood. And of course, we can see that with Buzz Lightyear uh, and his Zyklops versus Spider-Man, it's, it's close. I mean, you could say that that's a Spider-Man villain right there, that Zyklops, and that would fit in nicely. And Buzz Lightyear seems to be in a really close scale with Spider-Man. So very, very interesting and very nice to see how these guys stack up. And it is very nice and very appreciated. Awesome figures. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, we got Crystal Grade Space Ranger Alpha Buzz Lightyear right here. That one was 10 bucks. And then we got Mission Equipped Buzz Lightyear and Battle Equipped Zyklops. Those guys were 17 bucks a piece. Very exciting figures. Very happy to have these and add them to my Toy Story collection. Let me know what you're finding in your local areas, Walmarts, and Targets. As I find more new figures for this movie, I'll be sure to bring it to you guys right here on my channel. So stay tuned and let me know what you're finding in your local areas. I'd love to hear from you. Once again, I'm Brandon, and thanks for watching.